Can I have two large double doubles, an angel cream donut, and a plain bagel with butter? Look at you eating this. We can have a plain proud bagel with butter. Yes. Anything else? That's all. All right, 677. Awesome. I didn't eat this morning. <laughs> Nice to know that your food order finally matches your personality. Burn! Plain bagel. And for this butter. week's episode, I'm gonna be doing it by myself because he's gonna be knocked out. <laughs> well, I can't get the everything bagel because it's are we not... gonna fight? Because I got I got my card pulled out. Why you got your card pulled out? Because you, last time you pulled your card out, I put it across the screen for everyone. <laughs> That's true. We're trying the, to minimize the damage. The here. fun thing about that was we did learn that YouTube has a blur feature after you post a video. So thank you for everybody that pointed out that my credit card was clearly on the internet for. You know, we're next. The blur feature is going to be right here. <laughs>
So they save the, the Bengals will save 10 mil, which give them 60 mil. But don't forget, right? Salary cap rolls over. So maybe the Bengals are okay with let's clean a little bit of house this year. Okay, let's let's go ahead and cycle. Okay, right, and let's roll some cap over while we're doing it, and then next year we'll be ready to really go after it. Mm -hmm. Once you've got your guys in place, we'll be ready to go after it. Yeah, maybe it, that's the approach. This seems to be the formula with a lot of guys because it's such a win now league. Everyone's like trying to clean everything out. Just, we seen Oakland do it. We saw mm -hmm. Seattle do it. The yeah. Bills did it. Uh, yeah. That could be when you have a regime change. The problem with it is that Mike Brown, mm -hmm. who's been there since 1991, the GM. He's, he's about as stubborn as the Bills coaches. Yeah. I drafted this guy. I'm keeping him. You know what I mean? He, yeah. We, we've seen a coaching change, but not a GM change. Right. That's the that's the issue we yeah. have. I mean, is Green a target? Yeah, but they're not going to move him for nothing. They're, no. They, they're no. going to need they're going to need some top return for him, and it's only one year on his deal. So if if they get anything less than a second round pick, I think they just hold on to him. I think they move him for a second round. Pick. Thirty-one. They move him for a starter. They, I think they move him for a starter. Uh, second round pick is a starter. I'm not. I'm not trading anybody in their twenties for him. Even though that's who Cincy would want. That's what I mean. I mean, you're. you're if, I don't think you're trading a player for AJ Green. I think you're trading a pick for AJ Green. Okay. All right. Next. Demarius Thomas. Mm -hmm. Yank. Don't even have a conversation about Demarius Thomas. The Achilles injuries, once you hit 30, 31, just basically nicks you right off the list. You're certainly not, they're not going to trade him because he's $14 million is what he would cost any other team in the league. There's just no point. The Texans are going to cut him. Again, Achilles injuries, once you hit 30, especially Achilles injuries late in the season. Don't yeah, even, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to be really tough for him. Yeah, if he's signed to a roster, a 90-man roster, I wouldn't be surprised, but if he's on a team week one, I'd be I'd be shocked. He'll be a guy that if he comes back, it'll be a, a serious injury happened to a wide receiver in like week seven. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, because his you take a look at Achilles injuries. It's six months before you can return to the sport, but Achilles injuries take forever to actually work through. So a position like a lineman, if you have an Achilles injury, it's a little bit easier to come back from because the Achilles is healed, but. As a receiver, that's you get a that's where you get your speed. You get a lot of your speed from the back end of that heel. So it's got to be good. And that's we saw the same thing with uh, Josh, Josh Doxson in Washington. He injured his Achilles, and it took him eight months before he was running at full speed again. So this is kind of where you are when you're in your 30s. So Demarius Thomas, don't even think about it. Yep. Um, unfortunately, Emmanuel Sanders falls into the same category. I love Emmanuel Sanders. Love, 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 love him. Achilles injury late in the season. Over don't 30, even, Achilles, don't yeah. even bother. Yeah. Um, also an Achilles injury over 30, Deshaun Jackson. Now, he was it was a graded Achilles injury, but he played through a lot of it last season. Yeah. But there's a guy who it's going to cost him nothing to trade him. We Zero. talked about him, yeah. yeah. Um, and the linchpin of that being LaShawn McCoy, if yeah. he happens to sign in Buffalo. He's an outside deep threat. He, he checks some boxes on your team as well. Yeah. Um, and, and not a guy you would have to make a long-term commitment to. No, nope. no. Nope. Come in for two years, teach our uh, young guys the, the, the role of the in the NFL, what to avoid, mm -hmm. what to uh, you know on the field. What are some things that you can do to, to quicken up your game? And all well, and Deshaun Jackson was already talking about teams he'd want to go play for. We did. Yeah, yeah. He said this in an interview just a few days ago. He said he'd love to go play for the Rams. I, I mean, that's a, that sounds like a wide receiver that's posturing and understanding that he's not going to be there. The best thing for Deshaun Jackson would be to be cut. He's only got one year left on his deal. So if he's traded, he's still unemployed next year. If he gets cut, then he can look to see if he can work a two-year deal someplace. Yeah. So, and you're talking about a guy who, who he wants to go to a team that went to the Super Bowl? Yeah. yeah he he sees on. the end inside. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see here. You have Larry Fitzgerald. Let's not even talk about that. I just wrote him down because yeah, funny. Let's not even talk about him. 30 He's a guy. We're going to be talking about him in three years being like, oh, he's still playing, huh? Still he's going to be doing Just for Men commercials. You know, <laughs> color in that beard. Um, <laughs> Amari Cooper out of Dallas is going to be a free agent next year. There's no way Dallas is like But he's so intriguing to me because he's the only guy who that's under 25 on that, on that list. Yeah. 
Well, probably one of the reasons why Dallas coveted him so much. It was yeah. a bad situation. First round they gave, pick. They gave up. You look at the receivers coming out now. That trade looked bad when it happened. Dallas it did. looked Dallas looked like they were stupid when they made that trade. You, you just traded a first. Now, it, it's stupid if they're not able to resign him next well, it's year. it's stupid if they don't make the playoffs because then they're giving up a good pick to get him. I'm glad you didn't dig the nails into my chest like Indiana Jones. <laughs> uh, no, but it's it's you, you're talking about what did they end up? What they end up going like their pick is 24th now. That they yeah, sent somewhere. To, yeah, they sent to there. Oakland. So yeah. you know you're talking about a uh, there's no 20, I don't see a lot of first round 27. wide receivers. There's maybe two or three this 27. year. Yeah, okay. There's like two or three. Oh, no, that's Chicago. 27. Okay. Uh, okay. It might, I don't know. Well, they're both in the high they're low, it's, Yeah, they're in the 20s. So, um, there's probably like two, maybe three wide receivers in this draft class that would be first rounders. But, once again, got to develop them. Mm-hmm. So, what are we doing? We're getting rid of our first round pick. Why? Because we would need a wide receiver for Dak and Zeke. Yeah. Let's get a guy who is already proven. Right. Um, uh, Oakland wants to get rid of him. Let's dance. Yeah. I'm good. Um, you have Cameron Meredith down from the Saints. I just like Cameron Meredith. I, I don't do know too. why. And he's cheap. I mean, he's... He's six million. He would cost... He would save the Saints one million dollars, which I isn't know. a lot, but Saints are always in cap purgatory. Mickey Loomis doesn't have a calculator down in, L- in Louisiana. Well, the Saints have to look at getting young right now. Because yeah, yeah. Yep. they... I mean, again, Cameron Meredith is a guy that if you're going to deal a pick to get him, the Saints might take him because they need to get young right now. Uh, Drew Brees has maybe got another two years of very competitive football left in him. And even this year, like, you start to see, you know, that deep pass wasn't really there. They need ancillary targets. They need secondary targets because you have Kamara and you have Michael Thomas, and then that was it. Cameron Meredith did not separate himself in that group. Um, so it, I well, think he's hurt a little bit too. he was, but I, I think there's an opportunity for them to, to move on from him and just say, listen, you, we had one bullet in the gun. We pulled it. It didn't work. Let's just get what we can for him at this point. Well, I thought, um, it, was, I thought it was very interesting that he, he left the Bears. Uh, Matt Nagy, offensive minded coach, couldn't find a spot for him. Yeah. And then he goes down to New Orleans. He's buried. Yeah. yeah. With another offensive minded coach. So uh-huh. what is really going on with Cameron? Right. I just think he's an intriguing player because you look at, he, you look he at offers his frame. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you look at his frame and it's he looks like he could be a number one. Everything says he could be a number one. Um, I've got some guys that you don't. Travis Benjamin in, uh, too old. with the Chargers. 29. Too old. Uh, Travis Benjamin is, uh, let's see, they're going to cut him or trade him. They're going to do something with him. They're not going to keep him. Um, they'll save $5.25 million by letting him go via trade or if they cut him. Um, and is he a great receiver? No. I mean, this is a guy that got overpaid um, in a year where there wasn't a ton of great wide receivers in the free agent market. He came over from Cleveland um, and the Chargers aren't going to make an investment in him. They've already got, um, you know, they've, they've already got Mike Williams. They've already got Keenan Allen. I think they're okay with just letting him go. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's somebody who could offer another weapon, although not a true number one. Uh, Allen Hearns in Dallas is 27. 4.5 mil would, uh, is the, what they saved by letting him go. Um, he played all 16 games this season, but he had like sub 30 catches. I like, you know, this is the thing. I but like that guy signing. That on, on the paper, on paper, yes. he's a better receiver. He should be a better receiver. I liked him. I liked that move for Dallas. I did too. I even drafted him in fantasy because and, I was like, yeah, they have nobody. He's yeah. the number one. Well, and, and that was, I think that was part of the problem though, right? So yeah, they drafted him. Or, yeah, they, they signed him, but then they ended up having to trade away their first-round draft pick to grab Amari Cooper, so how good was he really? Well, the, but the, that's, That could have been system. You might have trouble picking up the system. This is one of the things we talk about, though, and that's the thing we mentioned on the wide receiver episode, is that what happens when he was clearly a number two to, to Allen Robinson yeah. in Jacksonville. Yeah. Now he gets traded. Now he has to be the number one. No. Yeah, it wasn't going to work. Didn't happen. He didn't. He, didn't, he couldn't do it. Uh, I think and even he, when he became a two or a three after Beasley... Yeah. Buried. Yep. Again, on on paper, should be a better player. Seth Roberts uh, out of Oakland. They're probably just going to cut him. They tried to trade him all last season. He cut. Co- he cost them zero dollars, but he's got a four point four five million dollar 
contract. Is there a quota we're supposed to have on the Buffalo Bills that we're supposed to have a former Oakland receiver? <laughs> Andre Holmes, Rod Streeter. Are we right. supposed to have a, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll this will be the trouble. Well, they say things happen in threes. So... <laughs> Seth Roberts, again, not interested. Sub 40 catches, just not effective. Um, a couple, One more guy who is uh, that I want to point out is Michael Crabtree in um, uh, Michael Crabtree in Baltimore. Solid so, possession guy. Right, exactly. He's a possession receiver. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a lot younger than I thought he was. I thought Crabtree was like in his... Was he 28? He's like 27. No, he's not. I think so. He's been on 17 teams. <laughs> no. How's he 27 years old? I think old? he's 27. I could. I, I. I might be. I might be thinking that incorrectly. But does he still run a 4.9? Well, I mean, out of Texas Tech. Listen, if anybody can teach you how to get open without using speed, it's Michael Crabtree. But you want to talk about not having so the tight ends in a Brian Dable offense? We've talked about this on another episode. I mean, having Michael Crabtree is like having a tight end. You're not going to get anything deep from him. Right? He's going to be there all day underneath. So does Michael Crabtree teach some guys how to utilize their skills a little bit better? Um, Crabtree's an interesting one because very easily it can be cut in Baltimore. They're up against it, and I don't really know if they're going to prioritize passing this season with Lamar Jackson as their quarterback. I just don't really see it. But a guy that can get open underneath is something that would be paramount for Jackson. Right. So who knows? Yeah, that's a tough one. Michael Crabtree definitely could be could end up uh, being gone, though. And then you have Devontae Parker in uh, Miami. I know he's already in New York, isn't he? <laughs> Perhaps he's, he saves he saves Miami nine million dollars. They don't have, yeah. they don't take any dead money. Yeah. And Gase is up there. Yeah, um, in New York, I really I see him as a Jet. The, just, and the Jets are going to turn over the roster. New head coach again. You yeah, know, they got they're going to turn over that roster. One hundred and seventy thousand million dollars. I know. Right. They got a lot of money. They got a lot of money. No, they got like a hundred. They got a lot of money to spend, but that roster is going to turn over. So lots of options that are out there that are not free agents. Um, some of them are scary. Some of them are real scary. Not sure. I They're not. Yeah. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. No bueno. No, no, no. <laughs>